Greetings, this is Time Rider, and this is a 66C Greyhound bus. Introduced in 1966, changed to Superfast in 1970, and deleted the following year because I guess it wasn't super fast. Uh, one thing I can tell you about this bus is it's too short. The real version had four windows on the upper deck, not three. And uh, I told everybody in the episode of the bench that I was referring to this as Pat's bus. Well, as it comes around, and I'm sure you saw it the first time, this was Pat's bus. Do you think maybe Pat had an older sibling? I do. I used to have to write my name on everything. Pat's bus was held together with two small posts and two tabs. These posts are pretty small, so I don't think that you could really drill them out and tap them. Uh, you could use a drill bit to get them out, or you could do what I did here using a ball grinder on my rotary tool. Uh, carefully removing the flange that holds the chassis in position. Once apart, the window was held in with three small rivets that need to be similarly reduced. So I started stripping paint a little differently. All right, everybody, hold your breath. <gasps> Just drop it in some aircraft stripper, which is really vile stuff that smells really bad. And just leave it in there for a while. Yeah, if I was immersed in strippers, I'd probably want a hot bath afterwards, too. Soapy water and a hot bath. Then, of course, let's follow that up with a good scratch with a wire brush. This thing could be my dog. He likes a hot bath and a good scratch afterwards, too. And Pat's bus had a dent right above the rear window, probably where Pat's older brother threw it after Pat wrote his name on it. So I took a 10 millimeter wrench, mostly because it was what I had handy and it would fit, and tried to straighten it. Got it pretty close, so I took a, a socket extension, because I couldn't find my punch. And uh, this looks pretty good. Not having any really good posts, I wound up taking some adhesive and gluing a screw so that I could lay on a coat of primer using Tamiya light gray. I will say this about the bus, it's very easy to paint because it's all flat surfaces. Uh, I'm just going with your basic silver paint from Tamiya. I don't remember the number, I'm sure you guys can figure that part out. Again, very easy to paint, lots of flat surfaces and I followed up the silver which actually looks gray, looks like the primer. But I followed it up with a, a X22 clear to really bring it out. The model wasn't particularly complicated. It basically had four pieces, five if you count the little suspension piece, which I was gonna have to uh, put in some boiling water. And I bend it in the opposite direction and run cold water. The plastic pieces were in really good condition. They just needed to be cleaned a little bit. And the base, I actually wasn't even gonna touch. I was just gonna clean and dress it. It looked in really good condition. And you know me, if I can avoid taking the wheels off, I will. Tire dressing always adds to the finish of the model. It's easy to make, take black paint, add a whole lot of thinner, and then uh, you wouldn't want to ignore the hubs. 
clean them up a little bit. The glass, it didn't have any major scratches in it, but I used my Novus products that, I, you know, I use them all the time. Watch me, you know that. Uh, and gave the, the window a good cleaning. And then a subscriber sent me a suggestion to use a sponge and put my decals on a sponge, which was, I wish I could remember who it was. It was just a magnificent idea. I didn't have a sponge, so what I used, which actually kind of worked better, in my opinion, not to detract from the original idea, because uh, it's really narrow and it sits really well in a shallow bowl, and I always use a shallow bowl. I understand the sponge would soak the water up anyway, but I put a blank piece in there because sometimes I use those to kind of gauge uh, when the decal is coming off. And of course I'm going to uh, wet down the surface with a cotton bud. And like I said, this was a wonderful idea because these decals, you can see it's loose already, but yet it's sitting on the paper really nice. And uh, yeah, I just pull this thing right off. Boom, there it is. Once I had the decals on both sides, it was time for a little bit of micro set. Uh, I just use a broad brush and paint a fairly heavy layer over the top of the decal. And I don't generally let it sit there real long and I start sopping it up with a cotton bud and I it's I'm actually leaving a little bit of micro set on the decal um, and then that I just let dry before I clear coat over the top of it. Assembly of the model is a little like sticking your finger in your ear uh, everything just kind of fits and then I'm sure a lot of you have seen me work with my little cardboard squares uh, that's what I have here um, I'll show that on the bench a little bit, but I'm just using a little bit of epoxy to put the thing together. And I suppose it could be argued that I should have painted the bottom of the posts, what remained of them, but, you know, they were silver to begin with, so, and let it cure. So let's visit where Pat's bus began. You know, I guess it wasn't in too bad a shape, but there was a lot of reasons for redoing this particular casting. One, uh, the Greyhound bus is an iconic Matchbox casting, and I don't think that you can really call yourself a restoration artist unless you've done one. Uh, it had a dent. It really didn't have much value uh, on the surface, eh, there was some parts about it that were a little dirty. But at any rate, I think it was a great candidate for restoration. And here's where it wound up. I think Pat would like it. Hey, stick around after for an episode of The Bench. This is The Matchbox. 66C Greyhound Bus. I'm Time Rider, and I'll leave the light on for you. Welcome to another episode of The Bench, where I share with you all of my useless secrets. Uh, I mentioned in the last video about little cardboard squares. I generally keep a stack of these sitting right by my work area because I have a lot of things going on. So let's say you wanted to, let's say, paint some chassis. You could just throw a bigger piece of cardboard down, throw your little piece of cardboard on the bigger piece, and paint it, and then set the stuff aside to dry. Or if you're going to work with epoxy, do the epoxy on the little square. Set it aside to cure. Little squares, <laughs> they're your best friend. So the second thing that I wanted to tell you about 
was the number 74 fleet line I started working on. I think uh, you may recall I did a video on one of these already. That one was cream. Uh, when I bought this one, it was red. So I'm going to do a red one. And yes, I want to do a green one. I'd like to have all three of the fleet lines. And yeah, I suppose I could buy another cream one and paint it green. But I don't know. Somehow that just doesn't seem right. So Nick at, at uh, Matchbox Restorations and I have come to know each other over uh, social media. And we share project ideas and whatnot, and we decided that we're going to do a series of cooperative videos over the next months. Uh, and no, they're not competitions, they're just us doing the same type of model. Our first one is going to be Wreckers, and Nick is going to do that iconic green and white 13D Dodge Wrecker. And I'm going to do the 71C Ford Heavy Duty Wrecker. So those videos should be coming out here pretty quick.